probably heard about Project 2025, a coalition of horrifying uh, policy proposals that could give they could give to a second Trump administration. But according to a new Politico report, establishment Democrats have their own version of Project 2025, which is explicitly designed to fight progressives. While Project 2025 is about policy, the moderate power project, as it's known, is about creating a talent bank of personnel. The initiative, which is led by the centrist think tank Third Way, proposes that progressives in the Biden administration, like Lena Khan, of the FTC, for example, are actually the real reason Biden is unpopular. So the moderate <laughs> power project. That's so absurd, I'm gonna interrupt. Sure. Okay, so first of all, this is super scary because this is a corporate rule version of Trump's fascist takeover. They're like, oh, he's doing a fascist takeover. Why don't we do a corporate takeover and squeeze the, the hell out of your lives and get all of your money to come to us? So Jordan's gonna give you more details on that. Uh, but the idea that the average American knows Lena Khan and the FTC and the SEC and the all these different things and all they're, and they're worried about like the sub secretary of labor and that that's why they're against Biden. You'd have to be a moron to think that. Nobody thinks that. You only say that as an excuse because you hate regulators that would regulate corporations because you're funded by corporations. That's the whole point of this think tank, third way, totally and utterly funded by multinational corporations. So they're making up things that you know as a normal person. Have you ever heard a single MAGA guy or an independent go, I can't believe what Undersecretary Khan is doing? Come on, man, it's absurd, it's absurd. By the way, I don't think she's an undersecretary, okay. I mean, on that point though, the only time I ever see her name mentioned is if I just happen to turn on CNNBC or go to that website. It's just business interest. Those are the only people who really know who she is and care because they don't want regulation, that's it. Yeah, and they put out preposterous things like this because they know the media is also corporate and they're not gonna challenge them on their insane things. And the number one way that the, that the media helps these guys is by constantly calling them moderate. When in reality, if you poll the positions of third way and corporate Democrats like that, they're radicals. None of their positions are past like 35% in popularity. They range from like 10% to 35%. A tiny, tiny, tiny minority of people who just happen to have all the money and then they get called moderates by corporate media. But now the rest of the story. Yep. So this moderate power project, their goal is to make sure that every administration official serving under the next Democratic president is as corporate and as middle of the road as possible. Destine Hicks Lundy, a former Biden White House staffer who joined Third Way to lead this initiative told Politico, we're ensuring that center left Democrats have a seat at the table. We're making contact with every moderate Democrat that is interested. <laughs> Center left Democrats have a seat at the table. Fine. Oh my God, corporate Democrats, you have all the seats at the table. Like we barely got a couple of seats and you guys were like livid over it. Oh, when will the poor corporate Democrats be represented in government? <laughs> the most the most marginalized group of people. Oh yeah, it's like 98% of the Democratic Party. <laughs> uh, she continues, they may not have a degree from an Ivy League institution. Except but, they all do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they know how important it is to talk to voters in the middle about restoring order at the border and not to center your entire clean energy pitch on the climate benefits of EVs. As a group, these are people who understand how important it is for Democrats to hold the middle and would be critical advocates as decisions are being made to ensure that our ideas and messages will appeal to a broad coalition of voters. Third way, communications director Kate DeGreuter stated, the center left tends to win at the ballot box and then we're outgunned the other 364 days of the year. And so we have to recognize that there's an investment required in being able to make sure that the ideas we see are popular, that are resident with voters are actually being carried out. Now third way has stated that their goal is to raise $10 million for the moderate power project. But that raises some clear conflicts of interest as the report explains as well. A talent bank at a donor funded organization has the potential to create some ethical quandaries. What's to stop a funder from pressuring a think tank to include his dubiously credentialed nephew on its list of pre-certified appointees? They're not talking about me, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing Haas, I'm just playing. <laughs> 
Okay. You take it from there. I don't want to get in that family drama. Okay. No, seriously, guys, what they're doing is they're getting a squadron of robots. And I don't know if they're all forced to look just like Buttigieg in Kirsten Cinema, but there is an assembly line. And this whole, the reason why I made fun of the Ivy League thing is it's like, Faux populism, like uh, they might not have Ivy League. Degree. What are you talking about, man? Everybody there has Ivy League degrees. They're like the most elitist people in the world. It's a corporate think tank. And, if, and but you know what they're doing? They're copying Trump basically every part of the playbook. Trump's a fake populist, so they're becoming fake populists. Trump has a team that's going to come in and wipe out Department of Education, start fire half the Justice Department, etc., and bring in cronies to take over the government. So they're like, wait a minute, that's actually a good idea. Like corporate rule is just only controls 95% of government. Why don't we control 100% of government? So let's clean out anybody who's a progressive and and forget progressive or populist. Just anyone who has helped the average American. Now, guys, look, if they said they were truly talking about the political spectrum of left, right, based on the polling, moderate, and they said, look, guys, defund the police is not, it doesn't poll that well, right? And, and you know, we've had debates on this show over it, et cetera, but we think it's a more moderate position to do this on social issues. Okay, that's a legitimate debate. Then we could talk about, hey, does the polling indicate that? Should we care if the polling indicates that? And we could have a real honest debate about that. But they're not talking about the social issues. They're talking about the economic issues. So they're like, you know, the things that are really popular with Americans. Okay, are you in favor of paid family leave? That's really popular, that's 84% with Americans. No, we don't want that. That would cost corporations a nickel. So no way, no, no, no. Okay, so then you're not arguing for popular positions. You're arguing for deeply, deeply unpopular positions, right? Are you in favor of raising the minimum wage? No, oh, no, 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 but 67% of Americans want it. Two thirds of Americans, I'm pretty sure it's popular and moderate, right? So it's all a giant trick to make things even worse and make it even like more oppressive corporate rule, whether Republicans or Democrats win. Yeah, I mean, look at what he took issue with in that story, right? It's not that. These are pro corporate positions. It's not that they're doing the work of their donors. It's well, what if someone else doesn't get the job? It's it's like, yeah, of, of course, nepotism is a problem. But out of everything that they're proposing, that's what you want to take issue with. They're totally fine with it. The Politico is totally fine with a, a corporate backed think tank proposing a list of staff that just are gonna go in and do corporations bidding. That should be the red flag in that story. Instead it's, well, what if someone else who loves corporations doesn't get the job? Like it just, it, <laughs> it's, it's just so ridiculous. That'll break the corporation's heart. Yeah. Do you really wanna do that to poor little corporations? <laughs> I mean, they only have all the money and power and now all the politicians, and soon they'll have the entire government. Yeah, but it's in Politico, which is an outlet that you, you have an oil company sponsoring the, the climate section or the energy section. And that influences the reporting and basically waters down what could otherwise be interesting, hard hitting reporting on that topic. It is an outlet and that's that style of access journalism, corporate funded access journalism you're seeing proliferate throughout the political media world. It results in watered down coverage and stories like this, where what we see as is a transparent red flag, well, this is just a story about nepotism. Yeah, and last thing on this, guys, is this makes this election even more depressing. Because now that Biden's got these guys that are going to support him and Biden has stopped pretending to be a progressive. So we're either going to have oppressive corporate rule or we're gonna have oppressive fascist rule. I mean, the fascists might end elections, so oh my God, these are the most awful choices there are. And then when you complain about how awful the choices are, they're like, oh, so that means you like Trump. I just called him a fascist. I don't know how much clearer I can be. I'm worried that he, we might not even have a 2028 election. So you're saying you like him a lot? <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't like corporate rule. And that's these guys are literally funded by corporations and they've raised a corporate army to take over our government. That should be concerning to you. So you're saying you like Trump. Hey, so, and that's corporate media for you. If you enjoy this video, that's because of our members. They make us independent, they make us strong, and they make us honest. Become a member today by hitting the join button below.